FAC, it's Steve Whitty here. Um, it's Bank Holiday Monday. I'm going to enjoy a day of work, doing very little, apart from listening to music. A um, bit grey out there, I've got light on, hopefully. Um, this is my third attempt at recording this video, and it, it might come across a bit better. So, this video is about showing some 45s that I've been listening to recently. So, I start off. First one is Gilbert O'Sullivan, Get Down. I believe this got to number one actually, or if it wasn't, it was definitely top ten um, from 1973. He was, this is when he was at his peak, um, chart-wise. Um, probably um, underrated songwriter, in my opinion. Um, he's recently just brought out a new album, um, which I think has been well received. I haven't listened to it yet, so I'll probably give it a check chance on Spotify before going any further with it. Uh, some bit of cheese. I hope you can make out on the left. It says it's Pickety Witch. The same, that same old feeling. A bit of cheesy pop um, from 1970. Um, Features on vocals Vicky Brown, who was married to Joe, and his mother Sam Brown. Something slightly different. This is Rose Tattoos, Rock and Roll Outlaw, um, B side Remedy. Um, they're on back to tour the UK again, and girl school is supporting them. So, Roxy Music, both ends burning. B side for your pleasure. Now I think this came out to coincide. This both ends burning from Siren. Um, so, yeah. oh, this one it's hiding in a plane cover. This is Golden Earring, Radar Love. On the track record, so this is a this isn't an original. I think this is a, a reissue. Re a, a re um, so please to pick that one up. Um, and I just found a single I've shown you previously. I won't show you that again. <laughs> um, next up, Jimmy Ruffin. What becomes of a broken hearted? Um, probably his best known song in the UK. Shakespeare Sisters, Goodbye Cruel World, Backed by Moonchild. Probably my favourite two tracks from the from the album. Um, Hormonally, Hormonally Yours, um, which had Stay, which was the big number one single in the UK. But uh, these were my favourite tracks. Simple Minds, Ghost Dancing. And backed by Jungle Land, which was an instrumental. It's sort of like, sort of signified really, sort of fattening out the sound. It becomes very um, arena sounding. Um, top 10 hits from 1972. This is Peter Skellen, You're a Lady. Um, a ballad, um, which, but sort of, it, it what Skellen was good at was delving into um, the nostalgia and his brass band features at the start of it, but then it sort of builds up to have an or uh, acquire it at the end. Um, it's really is a good 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 uh, single. Sadly passed away recently. Um, all classic Motown, Tears of Crown, uh, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles got to number one in 1970 in the UK. This very much was the last hurrah for, for the band for, for Smokey, when Smokey Robinson was in the band. This is uh, Dusty Springfield, son of a preacher man. Again from a uh, from, um, Dusty in Memphis Sessions. Um, beside Just a Little Loving. Uh, from 1968. Ringo, you're 16. I think I might have shown this before because I might. This may be a duplicate, not sure. But nice to pick up that. Moving on to some more singles. Status quo down the dust pipe. Now, 
this came out in 1917. This was the, the first hit that Status Quo had in about two years, and it was to start the change of the sound. They'd start listening to Roadhouse Blues by The Doors, and it sort of influenced how the sound was going. And as you may just make out, this was, this was originally purchased at the record shop, Jay Horton at 755 Allenbrock Road, opposite the Capitol, which I presume would be a cinema in Birmingham. Mokwa, mystery song, probably one of my favourite songs of theirs, um, from 1970, 1976, Rick Parfit did the vocals on this. One of these classic um, oldies uh, packages, this is Steppenwolf, Born to be Wild, beside the pusher. Just a classic single, that is. Um, Always gets me going on, especially if I've had a few drinks in, in a pub. Rod Stewart, you wear it well. This is an American Mer uh, Mercury release. On the B side, Los Paraguas. Number one in the UK, I believe. Number one in the US as well. I'm not sure. I know Maggie May did both. Another bit of Rod Stewart, Killing of Georgie, parts one and two. Um, one of Rod Stewart's strength, in my view, is that he could tell a story, especially in his early career. Um, in fact, he could, still could. You know, Young Hearts, uh, um, Young Turk, sorry, um, was, a, was another another story, a song which had a story to it. Um, I think that's what Rod, one of Rod's strengths was when he wrote his own own stuff. Okay, and. I mentioned a few some time back when I showed an album by Ray Stevens that it musically could be great, or he could just do the novelty, and probably his biggest novelty was the streak. Um, came out in 1974, which was sort of on the back of the trend that everybody, especially in America, everybody was sort of like took it upon themselves to start running naked. In the UK, it carried on actually. You you all you do get the odd streak now and again, not so much now. Um, I got a little bit tiresome, but uh, I think back to 1982 and Erica Rowe at the England Rugby International, and she did it in the middle of January. That's all I'm going to say. Straub's Lay Down, uh, one of their big hit singles. And then followed by Part of the Union. Uh, Sweet Blockbuster uh, from 1970. Got to number one in 1973. I think it knocked little Jimmy Osmond off number one. That upset me that did. It took me a long time to get to like, like, like this song. Um, it's um, just a classic piece of glam pop there. And they progressed um, and carried on. The, the, the Chinny Chap um, band with Teenage Rampage. The opening is a recording actually of the crowd waiting for the suite to come on stage or they're outside the backs or outside the backs um backstage at back outside the stage door i think um but that's another great great single it got a lot it's starting to get a lot really heavier sound and then more sweet and this is probably my favorite sweet song fox on the run um got to number two in the uk uh, change of the sound and it's at this point they were starting to write the songs. Um, they had started to move away from Mike, uh, Mike, uh, Mike Chapman and Nicky Chin. Um, weren't going to be as successful, but maybe they, at that time they felt musically more rewarded. This is a, an, an EP, one of these EPs that um, gets released now and again. Um, Swinging Blues Jettings, Hippie Hippie Shake, Good Golly Miss Money, Molly. Don't make me over, you're no good. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's about to pack up. Ah, that's better. Final batch. You've got There's a Ghost in My House by Ardine Taylor. Probably knew this. I, did, I was aware of it, but I probably got paid more aware of the song when The Fall did a cover of it. Um, yeah, UFO, 
when it's time to rock. This came from their Making Contact album. This is pretty much at around the time when the band started to implode, um, originally implode, and Phil Mogg had a bit of a breakdown. And um, he decided to split the band up at that point. And, but uh, then a couple of years later, he got them back. He, he, he reformed it with a different, with a different lineup. Stevie Wonder, for once in my life. Classic Motown there. And more classic Motown from Stevie Wonder, Living in the City. Got Graham Bonnet, um, Night Games, which was his big hits, solo hit single in the UK. He had just left Rainbow at that point. Um, he got, it's produced by Francis Rossi. Um, um, he got Cozy Powell's on drums and Neil Murray on bass, I think. Pretty much the, um, the British rock um, fraternity sort of club together to help make Bonnet make his solo album. Yeah, and it was really successful. This was a top 10, this was, in the UK. Really, it's a good song. Elton John, your song, his first hit single in the UK. First top 10. Rocket Man, I think it's going to be a long, long time. Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. Probably got probably more well known um, when George Michael did it on with Elton at Live Aid, and then then we've got more Status Quo, Old Rag Blues, and as it says, it's in blue vinyl. Uh, don't go out of your way to look get uh, blue vinyl if it comes. I'll come across it. Great. I'm um, yeah, too, too first on the coloured vinyl front to be honest. This is later quite this has got to be about 83, 80, 84. I think this is written by Alan Lancaster. And then finally, Steve Gibbons' band to line the cover of the Chuck Berry song. This was their big hit in the UK around 77. Mentioned in a previous video, I showed a Steve Gibbons album. They had the same management of The Who at that point, and they were really well thought of. A great live act, apparently. Um, some great views, reviews in America. Um, yeah, just, and as I said, Steve Gibbons is a local hero. He's a legend in Birmingham, still gigging. Uh, and he's got to be about 75, 76, I think. If you, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know he's in his 70s. So, VC, those were all my singles that I've been listening to recently. So... Enjoy your Monday, if you're in the UK, bank holiday. Uh, yes, summer is coming to an end. But hey, all good things come to an end. Uh, it's soon be Christmas. <laughs> so, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, click on the subscribe button, uh, more the merrier. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, love the interaction. And feel free to comment. Um, I will get back to you uh, at some point. Always try to, I think it's rude not to. Um, even if you're rude to me, I'll get back to you. <laughs> so, until the next video, BC, have a good day, have a good week, and um, take care of yourselves, keep spinning, and more importantly, keep smiling.